Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today is going to be Adult Coloring for Beginners Part 5. And this is going to be show you some other fun random accessories that you could use um, for adult coloring. Now you don't have to have any of these. There are some that I do highly recommend, but you don't have to have any of this. So, so far we've done, part one was coloring books. Part two was, oh, look at me, I can't even remember. Part two was mediums. Part three was accents. Part four was backgrounds. And now this is miscellaneous, other extra things and whatnot. So let us move some of this stuff aside and we will get right to it. Look at, I'm moving, I'm moving my mat. I'm moving everything. All right. We're going to start with erasers. So I have, these are the erasers that I have. This is my favorite eraser. Um, it is a high polymer eraser by Pentel. You can get them in packages of, uh, I think I got them in a package of like three or four or something like that. Um, I really like this. Like when I draw, this is my go-to eraser. Now I don't have one of those um, where you can squish and play with it like um, Play-Doh. I don't have one of those. So I don't know what those are like. I know a lot of colorists use that, but um, this one. So, and big spaces where I don't need to get in the tiny places, this is the re eraser I recommend because if you're using colored pencils, they do erase, it's kind of, somewhat. So there is that one. This is an electric eraser, eraser by Afmat. It is rechargeable. So you don't have to put batteries in it. And it comes with two separate um, heads or I don't know what those are called. So you can have the thicker one or you can have a thinner one. Now I happen to have two. So I, I always make one for my thicker and one for my skinny one. And they, like I said, they're erasable. And you just push the button. Make fun noises. Um, all of this you can get on Amazon. Um, actually, uh, Am Afma actually sent me this one to show you guys um, a while back. So there is a review for you on the channel. Um, but yeah. So electric erasers, you don't have to have it. Like I said, you can get them. They're not very expensive, I will tell you that. Especially the Afma ones. Now the Derwent ones, it's probably a better eraser. Like I don't know if these are the best actual erasers, but... It works. And then the next one I have is the Tombow Mono Zero Elastomer Eraser. So it's this little itty bitty skinny thing to get in tiny spaces. But I am going to be honest with you. I don't think it works very well. I use it, but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. To me, this works a lot better, but you know, in adult coloring, we have lots of itty bitty teeny tiny spaces. So these skinny erasers, you know, they, yeah, they help. They really do help. So this is a Tombow mono eraser. Again, you can get all of these on Amazon. Now I am not going to put, um, a link to these in my description description box below but if you would like a link to anything that I show you today um, leave me a comment and I can add that to the description box so the next thing um, that I actually highly recommend one was eraser the second one is pencil sharpeners now I have a lot of pencil sharpeners because I am still finding, looking for the best pencil sharpener. Now, um, this one right here is a Doll 133. This one was recommended to me by Pamela's Passion for Pencils. She highly recommends this. It's a crank kind, and here you have a knob so you can determine how sharp 
and how dull you want your lead to be. It does auto stop. You pull it out like this. You squish this, put your pencil in, and then you spin it and it does stop when it is done. It has a little drawer that I need to clean out with your shavings in it. This does work very, very well. Um, but if you have hand problems, electric sharpeners are the way to go. Now, the Jarlink is my very first electric pencil sharpener, and this one is rechargeable. So it has a, um, a rechargeable battery in it. So this one is good to take on the go, like when I go on my fishing trip that I do go on. You have um, three settings. There is three, two, and one. Um, I always leave it on three, seems to be the best for me. The top twists off. I'm not gonna pull it, and then this pulls up, and that is how you empty it. Um, now, last I heard, they don't make the rechargeable ones anymore, so I'm not sure. Um, I've had this one for a few years now. Now, my newest one, because um, it stopped charging, and I thought it was the pencil sharpener, turns out it was the cord, so it charges. But, you know, before I did that, you know, me and I had, you know, I had to have everything. Shelly from Shell's Coloring Journal, she uses this pencil sharpener. It is Tihu is the brand. And it doesn't have one, two, and three, but I leave it on the sharpest one. And let me tell you, it is a very sharp, sharp lead. So you either have dull or sharp. I think there's only two settings. And um, it fits pencils uh, from, let's see if you can see it, six to 12 millimeter. What's this one say? This is the same. But this one is cord, so um, you can't use this one without it being plugged in. But this one you can. So those are my electric pencil sharpeners. Now when my pencils get like itty bitty teeny tiny, they don't fit anymore. Like, let's see. Well, that one actually still fits. But... They're gonna, it's gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller and it won't fit, but, so I have some different ones that I like. Um, this one is just like this, this was a Q-tip case. You guys ever see these um, tins like this? They hold Q-tips, let me know. Um, this is a Stedler graphite uh, pencil sharpener. It has two sides. So I like that one a lot, but sometimes my lids, I don't know, they don't come out very smooth. This one is a um, Kum. It is a K-U-M um, magnesium. And it comes in this little cup and it also has, um, and it covers so it doesn't get everywhere. It also has the two sides. This one was sent to me by my lovely friend, Amanda. This one is also Kum, and this one is really cool. It has one and two. So if you put it in one, it does the wood only. And then after you put it in one, you put it in two, and it does the lead. It's it's pretty cool. It's really, really amazing. Um, I need to, Let me find one for you. Okay, we're going to use this um, Mickey and Minnie. So we're gonna, so the, number one, it sharpens the, just the wood. Let's see if we can get it going here. Now look at the, how funny it looks. I don't know if you guys can see. Do you see it? It has like ridges in it, so it looks funny. So then you stick it in sight two, and you just spin it a few times and it sharpens it perfectly. And then you have the Tigal. I really like this one, just to be honest with you. And I like it on number three, but you can also keep it closed. So it, well, it's not wanting to close. Let's see if it go this way. Nope, it doesn't want to close. Anyway, I keep it on number three. 
I like how it works. This is how you I need to empty it, as you can see. I used it already today. And now I made a huge mess. So those are my pencil sharpeners. And I highly recommend if you're using pencils, you need a pencil sharpener. Now, I don't feel like any of these eat up your pencil. Now, if any of them eat up your pencils, it's going to be the electric ones, not any of the manual ones. So, yeah. But now that I've made a horrendous mess here, silly, silly me. Look at that. I'm going to show you a brush. So, but I'm going to use my Swiffer here. Get it out of the way brushes i have lots of brushes so here is my brush collection um this is my giant one and i don't know it doesn't brush off very well but pencils crumble it doesn't matter they all do so if you use your hand it smears it on your paper and then you got color places so if you use the brush it brushes it off very nicely same with your eraser shavings. Yes, I do recommend if you are going to be using um, colored pencils, a brush. Now these are just large makeup brushes, powder brushes, I guess you would say. But brushes are a good thing to have. Um, and the next one I have are pencil extenders. Now, these little itty bitty tiny baby pencils here, that hurts your hand after a while. So, you get these pencil extenders and then you have a full pencil again and it makes life so much easier. Um, these are two different brands. This one I just showed in my recent haul. No, I haven't hauled them yet. Here they are. Are going to be in my haul. These are Art and Fly. These, and you get five of them. I recommend these ones before you get these ones. These ones are, I don't know what brand they are. They come in a package of a whole bunch in different sizes, and I don't feel like seeing. I measure them compared to my Prismacolors, and these hold the Prismacolors better than these. These don't, for some reason, don't seem to get tight enough on them. Now, they do leave marks on your pencils. Like a little bit of an indention, so you know. But I think um, for colored pencils, pencil extenders are a good thing to have. Um, the next thing I have to show you is some page markers. These are for your completed pages or marking body colors. Um, these are a corner. I'm gonna show you, moving things aside here. So say this is your book and you wanna save your page, it just fits on the corner right there and it marks your page. So you know where your buddy colors are, or say you're going through your books and you're picking out pages you want to color, you can mark a page and it does absolutely nothing to your page. There is a tutorial on how to make these on Pixie's projects. That is how I learned how to make these. I just used some random scrapbooking paper that I had. Um, so there is that. Uh, or you can use these are the handy dandy page flags so yeah uh, the little posty note things so you just take it off stick it on your page and it's going to stick up and save your page and then I like to sometimes they're reusable sometimes they're not depends on then if you get the post-it brands those ones can be reused these are just some I have randomly, but you can look up page flags on Amazon and there is a ton you can choose from. Ton of ton, let's see, which I have those kind. This kind I really like. 
they would fit in a planner and you get, I had two more of these that I've already used and um, they're little rulers, oh, two. But yeah, they're, and there's, these ones are transparent. They're kind of see-through-y. But yeah, there's that kind. What else do I have? Oh, I have um, some Monsters, Inc. ones. I have some more crayons. And recently, I was given some uh, 101 Dalmatians. But yeah. I'll just tell you though, right now I go through these like candy. Um, I go through tons of them, tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. So yes, when I find a good deal on them, I grab them. Next we have for colored pencils, a pencil case. Now most colored pencils come in a tin I know I have a tin. Oh, give me one second. Here. So they come in a tin. These ones I have not swatched. I've had these since Christmas. I need just, these are shuttle art. There's 80 colored pencils and it came with all sorts of fun things. These are, I need to pull these out. Speaking of, this is a different kind of pencil extender. And it came with two pencil sharpeners. Most pencils do come with their own swatch charts. So if you leave them in your tin, you only see one layer. And then you've got to pull them out to see the next layer and pull them out to see the next layer. There's only three layers in here. But some of them, like if you have 150, pencils or 300 pencils you've got trays and trays and trays so that's no fun so what I recommend is a pencil case and the pencil case I recommend this one is a PT BT SKY I think there's that one there is I want to say Shular or something like that. I don't know. If you put in colored pencil case, you'll, you'll get them. And I personally recommend the ones that have all the zippers. Um, these are the ones that come with single slots. So you don't have... Um, I don't like the threes. Like the other ones come with band like this. And you can... I squished four in here, but it's made for three, not four. Um... I don't really like those. This is a 72, this holds 72 pencils. So I've got my Arctics, my 72s in here. And then you can, you have all your pencils. So that is a 72 one. Now this one over here is my prison case who never closes, who stays on my desk because that's my go-to pencil. But this one holds, 200 and something because there's 150 and then I have some extras in the back and so these are sideways so th the more pencils it holds they like the smaller ones then it's up and down the larger cases they're going to be sideways and the, some of the cases get even larger and there's two rows but this one like I said holds my Prismacolors, and then I have these back to, and I keep extras and my sp some spares that I know. I try to keep the ones that are getting really low in the back, back there. But yeah, so pencil cases, you don't have to have them because they do, most of them come in these wonderful little tins, unless you get Crayola. Those don't come in a tin. They come in a box, a very flimsy box. Or the Faber Castell Black Edition, um, they come in a flimsy box. So, I don't know. I like those. And then for those, I got this on Amazon. And these are, I saw it over here. 
These are called plastic key tags. So what I did, because most of these come with a little thing and they have um, a little hole, but I attached it to the strap. And I put the tag on there and I write what's in the set. Now you don't have to buy these. You can make your own tags, punch a hole in it, and because uh, these clip and then just clip it in there. But um, I like these tags. And you get all these different colors. It did come with white too. I think I've used all the white ones. I try to match them to my um, cases. As you can see, um, reds, blacks, the darker blue aren't used. The colors I used the most were these light blue, the white. Yeah, those are the ones I used the most. Some of the orange. But, yes. So, that is for marking your pencil cases. So, you know what pencils, and like, if you're like me, if you have... 20 some odd pencil cases you gotta know what pencils are in what case right so these tags are great since we're talking about pencils I recommend highly recommend swatch charts now I have some different ones these are some of my favorites um, this one is a 150 color swatch chart this one is by Mystic Sparkle Wings. Now, you can Google Mystic Sparkle Wings, and um, I believe it's a Kofi shop. I'm not positive, but it's free. Um, but when I got this, which was a few years ago, when I started this in 2021, it was, I just Googled swatch chart, and this came up, and I printed it. So... So if you want a free one, this one holds 150 colors um, and it was created again by Mystic Sparkle Wings. Um, this one is I like to use for bigger things like um, my distress inks or my pastels because you get more room. My gel crayons, um, my uh, whatever these are called gelatos so for bigger things i like this and this holds 72 this one is by um color and play by Faye on etsy i couldn't tell you how much it costs i'm so sorry i did not write prices down um and you can get these in different sizes this one's 72 and there's one that's even bigger so you can get even bigger boxes and there's ones that are smaller but i like this one for um, I use this one, Distress Inks, like I said, and my gel crayons and my uh, gelatos. And then there is this one, which is, um, it comes in two pages. I only printed one page. This is by Pamela's Passion for Pencils. And it's for 180 pencils. So each page holds 90. So you would write the name of the pencil, the number, and then you color the white box. And you write what pencil set it is. Um, yeah. I use this one for, actually, this one I use mostly for pencils. This one I tend to use for, like, gel pens and things like that. And then the last one I have to show you is Color with Claire. Her Kofi. Um, if you go to Color with Claire on Instagram, there is a link to her Kofi, and these are free. And um, she does all sorts of different color family charts. This is how I like to keep, swatch my pencils. I love having them in color family charts. I have one for This is Black Widows. I have one for Prismacolors. I have one for Polychromos. I have one for Arctics. I have one for. Oh, I can't. I think Starjoy Gold. I'm sure there's others. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But um, I like these too. You don't have to write the name. Now it doesn't have the numbers on them. So you can, I write the numbers underneath 
or some people tape numbers on the bottom to make them bigger so you can see them and you can write your own numbers. Um, and this is the order that I keep them in the case. So at every order, I swatch them out. That is how I keep them in the case. Um, so I, so the things, I'll, I'll get that in the end. So that's our um, swatch charts. Now I know some people think that swatching is pointless, but the barrel of the pencil does not always match the actual color of the pencil. So you guys know, especially in the cheaper sets. Um, the next thing I have to show you, we've got some stencils here. Um, here is a color wheel. You can get color wheels on Amazon and it shows you all the different types. You've got your complementary colors. You have your primary, secondary, tertiary, sorry, I can't say that, your neutral grays. So, I, I don't know. I don't use it. I have it. I don't use it. Um, I just use my own eyeballs. So, yeah. You've got your complementary colors. You've got your achromatic colors. Your triad. Your warm colors, your cool colors. Anyway, a color wheel can help you know like so if a complementary colors for blue is yellow and purple or you can move it to what I like to call teal or turquoise teal and purple and brown so yeah and it spins around does all fun things everything spins and you can get them this is a smaller one I also have a larger one but I thought I'd show you the smaller one and then stencils. Um, these work really well for backgrounds. I got all of these on um, Amazon. Um, the three I use the most is this one for clouds. Um, I do, I need to clean it. It has uh, stuff on it. So this one, so I just use my distress sink and go over the top. Or here you have individual clouds. I guess I can move it so you can see it. Individual clouds. Um, I also like to use this a lot. Like if I'm making bubbles or um, even just polka dots. Um, this is my circle stencil. This is I got it at Michael's. I have it upside down. It's Artist Loft. But you can get a circle stencil too. And then I have others. This one is, I have a lot. I'm only showing you some. This one is all um, different types of polka dots. So you've got big ones, little ones, random, smaller random. I like this one, more like confetti. Even smaller random. But yeah, so that one is all different kinds of polka dots. Now, like I said, um, these I would use for backgrounds. Um, then um, this one is fun. We have different types of things. Here you have different kinds of tire tracks. Here you have like a marble. More polka dots. A beehive, a hexagon. I got the whole thing I got was because I love this. The little um, heart. What are those called? Banners, not banners. Garland. Some swirlies. Tie dye. More dots. Some gears. Tree. So you could do this on your trees. Some shapes, squares, and rectangles army camouflage bricks stones and bricks those actually go in a different one those are in the wrong one and then this one is just geometric patterns sorry so you've got some chevron 
more bricks, so got more hexagons, diamonds, what are these called? Fior de Lis or whatever they're called. More bigger diamonds, argyle, mermaid scales, geometric squares. So, and you just look up stencils on um, Amazon and it gives you all sorts of different kind. You need to look at the size. Um, let's see if it tells me the size of these. These are six by six. You don't really want to get bigger than this because then they end up being gigantic and it's really too big for your coloring book. So pay attention to the size. So yes, that is everything that I had to show you extras. Um, now I'm going to tell you the ones I highly recommend is any type of er oops, eraser, a brush, a pencil sharpener, and a swatch chart. Those are the things that I highly recommend if you're going to start adult coloring. Now, the things you don't absolutely have to have, I do recommend them, but you don't really need them, are the pencil extenders, the electric pencil sharpeners, the stencils, uh, the color wheel, the pencil cases, the tags. So those are the things you don't need. But these are the things I recommend. Not this brand or anything. Just a pencil, any kind of pencil sharpener. It does not have to be electric. Um, but if you're, I need to empty this. It's getting everywhere. But if you're going to get a pencil sharpener and you have expensive pencils, I would invest in getting a better pencil sharpener. Um, if you don't mind manual, the Dell 133 is perfect. Um, if not, the Jarlink has great, Jarlink has great um, pencil sharpeners. Um, Afmat, I believe, has some pencil sharpeners too. I have not tried them, but um, and any eraser. Now, I would recommend more of a skinnier one because it's easier to get into the spots, but um, one of each maybe. But that is why, and if you just get one, it comes with both sizes. You just have to change this out. You don't have to have two. But, yes. That is... Uh, my part five of miscellaneous other things that you might need for adult coloring. Let me know what you guys think. Did I forget anything? Is there anything that you can think of that um, I haven't shown? Um, from here on out, I will be doing, um, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to be doing the next one part six will be a coloring journal I'm going to show that and then how I do mine and then we um, from there we'll be doing more like tutorials so I'm gonna be showing how to shade um, I'll be showing how to do different backgrounds um, how to color with alcohol markers and and then shade with pencils um, I'm not gonna show water base with pencils because I don't feel confident enough. I don't use them very often. So I don't feel comfortable in that. Um, I will show how I do white highlights where I recommend putting highlights. Um, I will show videos on um, how I swatch pencils. So I'm just gonna keep going and let me know if there's anything specific you would like to see. Um, I am not a professional. This is just a hobby. Um, I really, really enjoy it, um, but yeah. So, if you're new and you made it through, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I'd love to have you join us, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you um, can be a part of our wonderful family here. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up that you like this video. Comment down below. Um, let us know if there are any other accessories 
that you like to have when it comes to coloring. Now, I didn't show um, like paint brushes and things like that. Um, I will show those when we get to that specific tutorial. Uh, yeah, because there's all kinds of things that you can use. But yeah, so thumbs up that you like it. Comment down below. I love making these videos and talking to all of you. I hope this has helped some of you all. Um, I, like I said, I love making these videos and talking to you. And I look forward to talking to you all real soon.